AI is taking over the world, and that includes local SEO. In just one weekend, you can now easily spin up a fully optimized website with a thousand pages and totally dominate the Google local search results and put people like me out of business. Or maybe no. Here is why. Google isn't exactly anti-AI. In fact, they've even said in their official documentation that AI can help people create awesome web content. But what Google doesn't like is websites that don't bring anything new to the table. And guess what? Most AI tools out there are just regurgitating existing content without adding any fresh ideas. As these AI tools get smarter, Google gets smarter too. They're always striving to show the best and most relevant search results. That means they're getting better at figuring out which businesses can be trusted. And guess what AI tools can't do? They can't prove trustworthiness like real people can. So here is the bottom line. If you want Google to take your business seriously, you've got to show them that you're real. They want to see that you're legitimate, trustworthy, and run by actual human beings. Otherwise, your business might end up being considered illegitimate and pushed down in Google search results, and nobody wants that. So here are five hacks you must use to make sure you stay on top of local search results and leave those AI generated sites in the dust. Before we dive in, I gotta give a quick shout out to Kyle Roof, the SEO guru behind a lot of these awesome SEO hacks. You can check out his stuff on kyleroof.com. And I've said, let's get started with hack number one, your basic info. If you want to prove to Google that your business is legitimate, one of the easiest and quickest ways to do it is to add some basic information on your website, such as your local address, a local phone number that matches, your opening hours, and other contact details. I usually put this kind of info in the footer of the website so that Google can find it easily from any page. Now, why is this helpful? Because genuine local businesses will have a real address and they'll want to show it off, as opposed to people who create fake websites or businesses just to get leads. I still come across many local businesses that are missing this basic information on their websites. Not having this info leaves Google skeptical and will put your business at risk. Adding this basic information to your site is definitely a good move, but won't be enough to convince Google you truly exist. The problem is that Google is basically a bot that scans your website's code to decide if your website is worth being included in search results and it only manages to find your address in around 70 to 80% of cases, even if it's on your homepage. But don't worry, there's a solution. You can fix this by using something called schema markup coding. I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, I'm never gonna be able to do this. I don't know how to code it. Well, you don't need to. There are schema code generators that do the work for you. Personally, I like using the Merkle schema markup generator because it's super simple. I've included the link in the description below. Just select local business from the drop down menu. Fill in all the necessary details and the code will be generated automatically. Once you're done, simply copy and paste it on your site, preferably in the footer. When the Google bot comes crawling, there won't be any doubt about your basic info and where you're located. Now, keep in mind that while this will help Google understand that you're a real business, there's more you'll need to do. That's what we're going to cover with hack number two, business citations. If you're not familiar with citations, they can be described as mentions of your business on various websites that usually include your business name, your business address, your phone number, and often a link to your website. You will typically find citations in business directories like Yelp, the Yellow Pages, and Better Business Bureau. They can also be found on social networks like Facebook and search platforms such as Google Business and Bing for Business. Citations have a dual purpose. First, they can boost your search engine rankings. Secondly, they help Google understand if your business is legitimate or not, because when you claim these citations, you have to provide your address, your phone number, and sometimes even your business license number. When Google crawls these sites and sees your business listed on them, it receives a signal of trust, confirming that your business is real. The key here is to make sure that the citation information matches exactly what can be found on your website. Otherwise, it might throw Google off. It's important to make sure your business is mentioned on all the platforms I just mentioned. And don't forget about niche directories as well. They can be pretty useful too. 
Now, if you're wondering where to start with claiming citations, head over to Bright Local. They have a handy list of the top 50 general business directories worth getting citations from in 2023. Some are free and some you have to pay for. You can even find directories specific to your country or industry. So try to get listed on as many of these platforms as possible. It will definitely help Google recognize you're not a phony business. Adding basic information to your website and claiming important business citations is a great start, but you're going to need to solidify your business credibility further. How? By adding specific pages to your website that provide detailed information about your company and the people behind it. This is what the third hack is all about. If you want to show that you're a legitimate business on your website, there's one page you must have, an About Us page but not just any About Us page like this one. Your About Us page should give visitors a taste of what it's really like to work with you and share the unique stories that make your business special. Think about throwing in a cool backstory on why your company was started, how it hustled its way to where it is today, what awesome stuff you offer your clients, and don't forget to showcase some of the customers you've served along the way. Spice things up by adding some great photos or videos that are totally exclusive to your story. Remember, the key is to create content that's all about your business, stuff that can't be found anywhere else except on your website. Another page you must consider adding to your website is a team page. This page will showcase the individuals behind the company. Make sure you add images and short bios for each team member. To leave no doubt in Google's mind that these people are real, use the schema markup generator again. This time, select the person option from the dropdown and start creating the markup code for each team member. Drop in their name, a cool mugshot, their job title, and a link to their LinkedIn profile or other social profiles. That way, Google will have zero doubts that these people exist and are part of a legitimate business. In addition to an About Us page and a Teams page, consider adding two more pages that will help establish trust with your visitors, but also with Google. A privacy policy page and a terms and conditions page. Now, don't worry about hiring an expensive lawyer to draft them for you. You can simply use a free tool like termsfeed.com to create the content you need specific to your business and your country. Once you've generated the content, copy and paste it onto your website. Once you've added these pages to your website, you can polish the content further into being more real with a few extra bits, which is what we're going to look at in hack number four. Starting with images. I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. Avoid using free stock images or AI generated images on your website. They may look professional, but are not a true reflection of your business. Instead, use real photos of your actual team members at your location or on site if they are providing a service. If you are handling payments on your site, don't forget to include those secure payment logos on your pages. It not only reassures your customers, but also gives Google another reason to trust your business. The next recommendation is simple, but I very rarely see it. Add that copyright label with the current year to your website. It shows that someone actually cares about keeping the site up to date. Last but not least, toss in an HTML sitemap on your site. It doesn't have to look fancy or anything. It just helps Google find all your pages and index them properly. We've come to the end of the content hacks to make your business appear authentic and earn Google's trust. Time to move on to our fifth and final hack, focusing on the technical elements. All right, let's talk about a few technical things you have to do so Google trusts your website. First, you must make sure your site is secure by implementing an SSL certificate. This certificate create a safer experience for both you and your customers. Without one, your website address will end up displaying a little warning icon and a label saying site not secure. Not exactly the kind of thing that screams trust, right? To implement an SSL certificate on your site, you'll need to get your hosting company to sort it out for you. There is a cost attached to that, but it's worth it. Next, it's super important that your website works smoothly on both desktop and mobiles. Most businesses got this covered, but there are still some who haven't made the switch and their sites look all wonky on mobile. That's a sign of a business that's not really keeping up. So if that's you, it's time for a website redesign. Last but not least, you have to check for broken links on your site. As time goes by and you make changes, links can get all messed up. 
And when someone clicks on a broken link, they'll see that frustrating 404 error message. Guess what? Google sees it too. A well-maintained site shouldn't have any of those error pages. To find and fix those broken links, you can use this free broken link checker from Ahrefs. It will show you where the problems are and then you just gotta get in there and fix them. In summary, get that SSL certificate, make your site mobile friendly and fix those broken links so you can show Google that you mean business. That's it for today guys. Most of this stuff is very straightforward and shouldn't take you long to do. Implement these hacks as soon as you can and you won't have to worry about AI ever again. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, happy marketing.